After a thumping at Saracens in round 15, Saints looked to get back to winning ways as they hosted the Bears, who were coming off the back of an emotional win, but still had not won on their travels in the Gallagher Premiership. And it was the away side that were on the score sheet first. Fine interplay between backs and forwards created space for Charles Piatau to make good ground, eventually leading to Joe Batley going over in the corner to make it 5-0. In an entertaining game of back and forth rugby, it was again the visitors that scored. This time, Sileli Piatau got a nice inside line from the scrum, putting the Saints on the back foot, leading to Jordan Crane dotting down from close range, making it 12-0. The Saints continued to build pressure and were rewarded with Naya Avaro crossed. Patient work from the forwards created space out wide for the winger to make the score 12 5 at half time. Northampton began the second half with more determination. First, AC Tuala went over in the corner, making it 10 12. Then the winger played a part in George Furbank's try with a lovely break and off roading, giving the Saints the lead for the first time 17 12. Bristol replied five minutes later, Piers O'Connor stepping his way through the safe defence and popping the ball to Harry Randall, who went over unopposed, bringing the score to 17-19. In a game that kept giving Kovac Reinach looked like he'd stolen the win for Northampton after intercepting from the back of a Bristol line-out, making it 24-19. But in the final few minutes, Saints lost their discipline and saw them lose four players to the bin. First, Reinach for not retreating 10, then Jamie Gibson and Tom Wood for line-out infringements, and finally, Alex Waller for a scrum penalty. With a huge overlap, Bristol had the choice of try scores, but it was Piers O'Connor who took the plaudits. Ian Madigan calmly slotted over the conversion to give Bristol a huge and first away win of the season. The final score of Franklin's Gardens, 24-26.